Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad or touch the latest iOS. Now, let's just go right into your settings. Under your settings you're going to see your very first option, where I highly recommend making that backup using your iCloud. So just make that backup, or if you guys have no more space, then just use your computer to make a backup, or if you're having problems, same deal, just use your computer in order to update and back up your iPhone. For PC, you guys can use iTunes, and for Macs, you guys can just go into Finder and make that backup and update. Anyways, once you're done that, let's just go into General. Under General, your second option will say Software Update. From here, we're gonna see the latest one, which is less than a gig. We can just tap on Download and Install. It's gonna ask you for a passcode if you have one. After your passcode, it's gonna start downloading. During the download process, it doesn't matter if your iPhone iPad Pro Touch turns off it only matters if it turns off when the installation is happening that's when big glitch is going to happen and therefore we're going to have to restore our iphone if something happens so that's why i recommend having at least 50 percent of your battery and even though if you guys have maybe 90 percent of your battery i still recommend to hook it up to some electricity when you're making any updates that's just to keep things on the safe side. How long will this download take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed and which iDevice you have. But for most of you, it's not gonna take more than 10 minutes. Now, some of you may only see the install option and not the download. That's okay. That just means the iOS has already been downloaded and all you guys have to do is install at this point in time. So that can also happen depending on your settings. But for now, we're just gonna have to wait. After about 10 minutes or so, you're going to see this, install now. Just tap on install now, and it's going to verify the update. Then we're going to see an Apple logo, a loading bar. After just about 10 minutes, after you see that Apple logo and a loading bar, then it's going to ask you for your passcode if you have one. After you put that in, that's it. That's it for this update. You guys can go back into settings. Just make sure that you are, in fact, under the latest iOS, and you will see this. So right now, this latest one, iOS 14.2. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.